their parents, caregivers, or community. Instead, it's the failure of the school district and systems. As the school board, as the school board, it is our duty and our responsibility to provide each and every student with what they need to be successfully successful academically and in life. Tonight, we are discussing and considering admonishment. In plain terms, this means the board is considering a stern, firm warning to Commissioner Hsu that she must not repeat these statements again. Our admonishment is a clear statement that we are unequivocally denouncing these harmful stereotypes. Order, please. Harmful stereotypes, systemic racism, and bias reflected in Commissioner Hsu's comments and the harm that it's caused. This action is consistent with the work we have undertaken to review and revise our governance practices to ensure our work is focused on student outcomes for all of our students. I also want to clarify what this meeting is not. It is not a meeting for commissioners or this body to comment on Commissioner Hsu's candidacy for the school board. This is a matter for voters. I want to give an overview for the process for tonight's meeting. First, I'll take a motion and a second for the item. Before we have discussion as a board and ultimately a vote, we'll take 30 minutes of in-person public comment, one minute per speaker. I understand that tonight we will likely have more than 30 speakers. Once we get to the public comment section, I will give an overview of how to ensure um, we stay within the parameters of the public comment. After public comment, each commissioner will have two minutes to share their comments. Commissioners, uh, please adhere to the time limit. Vice President Bogus will help keep time. And if a majority of the board after our first round have additional questions and like to have more comments, we will then take up to additional two minutes per commissioner. And then lastly, I will call for a roll call vote on the, on the um, item. And then we will conclude and adjourn, adjourn this meeting. Just as the board commits with decorum and maintaining a productive dialogue, we hold the public, our fellow San Franciscans, to the same standard. I'll ask that anyone disrupting the meeting be removed, or we will call the meeting for recess. But I hope that that's not necessary this evening. So at this time, I'd like to ask, I need a motion and a second to begin the item. I motion to admonish Commissioner Shu for recently made written statements that are hurtful and per perpetuate harmful stereotypes. Her comments undermine and run counter to this board's belief that we as a district are most responsible when our students fail and that all students can succeed regardless of their race, zip code, income level, or any other factor. Do I have a second? I can second. Thank you, Vice President Bogus and Commissioner Shu. Now we will turn to public comment. As I mentioned before, please hold we are going to be delineating 15 minutes in support of the action, which is please listen. I will pause public comment if we're not fulfilling the guidance that I am providing this evening for public comment. 
We will only be taking public comment in person. We will take 15 minutes in support of the action tonight, which is for the admonishment of the statements made by Commissioner Shu. And then we will also take 15 minutes who are not in support of the admonishment. And I would also ask that we can get a timing as we're going heading into our getting closer to our time limit. I think just to clarify for folks who have lined up for public comment, you should only be in line to speak right now for public comment if you support the resolution for admonishment right now. And then there'll be a separate 15 minutes for people who are opposed to the to the resolution. Uh, excuse me, this is the interpreter speaking. Um, before we go ahead with the public comments, and I see so many Chinese parents uh, waiting to make their public comments, do we need to make an interpretation announcement at this time? Yes, please. Okay, I'll make this um, in Chinese. Uh Look Spanish interpreter, please. Thank you. El Distrito Escolar Unificado de San Francisco ofrece servicios de interpretación en el idioma español. Si necesita interpretación por medio de Google Meet, por favor marque el siguiente número telefónico seguido de la clave de acceso. 1-319-382-9676. Por favor introduzca la clave 665-996-976 seguido de la tecla numeral. Gracias. Thank you. To the Chinese, to the interpreters, for clarification, for in-person public comment, in the first 15 minutes, it would be in support of the admonishment. Can you please provide that interpretation? Yeah. Buenas tardes. Los primeros 15 minutos para aquellos que quieran hacer su comentario es eh, para estar a favor de la amonestación de la señora Ansu. Gracias. Thank you. At this time, please go ahead. How do you turn it off? Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate that. Secondly, is there a clock where I can judge a minute in terms so that I don't overrun and respect the board's wishes? Yes, we are working time here and we'll uh, just Is there a visual for me to see? Not it would help. Not well, maybe for the future for public speaking. Uh, my name is Dr. Raymond Tompkins. I'm a former teacher in the San Francisco Unified School District. I'm also a published scientist, and I do work. I've done work throughout the world, in Africa and in Asia, in cleaning up environmental hazards. I am 
mild adjective disturbed on these comments. I am in support of the board's action, but more importantly to address the board and that some want to cite research, which I'm a part of. I hope that you read Elihu Harris's, when he was president of the Black Caucus of the state of California, and that first graders, 50% of all the African-American first graders never made it to the eighth grade. It is not because of their parents. I don't want to play the dozens. As an educator who I was taught during voter registration back in 68, from if you know Bob Moses, he taught the white uh, voters to go up there and young men and women to teach in Mississippi. We need to establish, please, reestablish the Thank Mesa you. program. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Audience members, I am the chair of this meeting. I will be the one that will regulate public comment. And if there's more outbursts from the audience, you will be asked to leave or I will recess this meeting. Go ahead, thank you. Oh, sorry. Hello, my name is Cheryl Shanks. I'm a native of San Francisco. I was also a head teacher for the Head Start program for 20 years. I grew up in the Richmond district. I was one of the only few black families that grew up out there with lots of Asians. I was told I was stupid. I was told that my hair was ugly, that my mom and my whole family were poor. We don't have food to eat. And that really affected me. And then by the time I got in junior high school, I was told, you'll never make it into law because you're black and you're not smart enough. Yes, that hurt my self-esteem. And as a teacher, we know those are very, very crucial years for our children to, in developing their self-esteem and self-worth. They should not be ridiculed for their color or talked about or be made fun of. We do not have time to educate someone on the board who is going to be deciding our children's education. Thank you. you are, she is, and you should know the education of racial equity and that's very alarming that you don't know that and that you want to leave. Thank you. Education. Thank you. Please resign to the Thank you. Good evening, uh, super uh, school board. My name is Cheryl Thornton, and um, I'm a resident of District 10. Uh, I work in the health department, and I'm a parent. And I'm, I'm in support of the admonishment of Commissioner Hsu. But I also want to say, working in the health department, I see a lot of young people come in at very early ages with mental health problems, issues, especially black and brown. And for the youth to have to hear this over and over, that they are riffraff, that um, the parents don't care about their education, it's, it's wrong. And so I think that Commissioner Hsu should resign because it's become a big major dis uh, divisive situation. And our youth deserve to have equity in their education. Now everybody knows the southeast side of San Francisco, the schools are segregated and they are not equitable. And we are not preparing the kids in San Francisco for the workforce in San Francisco. They have high tech jobs here. And in order to prepare our youth, we Thank have you. to have people who understand Thank you. Uh, racial equity. Yes, yes, my name is Larry Martin. I'm a college student and I, I'm the spokesperson for South Market Neighborhood Resident Council. And, and I think it's in the best interest 
that this woman stepped down? Because it's, it's my understanding that it has been other people that has did lesser, lesser things and, and they, they was able forced to resign and stuff like that. So it shouldn't be a double standard of justice. So I think, it, I think it's in the best interest because, you know, we can only take so much and it's, it's sending the wrong message to the young people, you know, and, I, and not only to the young people, but I also think it, it can escalate into the into this community, into the streets, you know, so we can nip this in the bud right now. And and I think it's I think you should resign because if you don't resign, it's going to create a hostile environment, not only in the community, but in the school, too. Not only the elementary school, but the colleges, too. So it would be in the best interest for you to step down for, before somebody gets seriously hurt. Yeah. Yay. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, <clears throat> uh, good evening. <clears throat> good evening. My name is Arnold Townsend, Reverend Arnold Townsend. I am here tonight. Dr. Amos Brown uh, is in Ghana traveling, but he's been on the phone all day. <laughs> Let me just say to you real quick, uh, usually I'm really disturbed when I only see one minute to speak, but it shouldn't take much more than one minute to figure this out. You, you have sent a message to some students that it is not okay to say hurtful and harmful things about them. And if you don't do this, you're sending a message to black and brown children that it's okay to say anything about them that's harmful that you want to. That, this, this is not hard to figure out. We, 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 we're not, see, tonight, for me, isn't even about uh, Commissioner Sue. To me, tonight is about fairness and equality. It's about doing the job that we ought to do, and that's educate our children. And if you don't do this, what education will the children get out of your action? Thank you. So good evening again, everybody. My name is Rianda Batiste, and I'm here tonight as a black mom to stand in partnership with the black community and the Latinx community to let you know, Commissioner Sue, directly that we do love our babies and we do value education. We do believe in black excellence and Latinx excellence. That is a real thing in our community. It is offensive and you should be censured tonight. You should not just be admonished. What you said was egregious and it was hurtful and harmful. And that is a reflection of what you truly believe. We don't have time for you to learn. We've had how many years for you to learn? At your age, you should know better. You called for the resignation of Commissioner Collins because what she said was wrong for your community. Well, what you said was wrong for our community. And you should not be allowed to make any votes or say anything regarding any of our babies from this day forward. You are a danger to our community. And everybody needs to know that. And shame on you, SFUSD, if you do not censure her. Good evening. I'm Virginia Marshall. On behalf of the NAACP, the Alliance of Black School Educators, we are joined by the union today. We're joined by our ex brothers and sisters today. Commissioner Sue, you should be censored, but you should do the right thing, Commissioner Sue, and step down and resign. When our students in school find themselves in trouble, the parents come, the parents are called. Sometimes they're sent home for a few days but they always come back with a parent and they have to apologize. You did apologize, but I didn't feel it was very sincere. You are leading our school district. If a child's parent never come into a school site between grades K and 12, it is your responsibility. It is your responsibility to make sure every child, especially black and brown children, have a great education equal to Lowell High School. I'm not a supporter of Lowell High School because every school should be a great school. So we can't follow your, we can't follow you. We don't believe you. We don't trust you. So please do the right thing and step down. Thank you. My name is Lourdes Alarcón. I'm a mother at the school district at Buena Vista, Horace Mann. 
I have two students there, and um, I'm here to protect my children. And please stop blaming on me all the things that are happening in, the, in their school. At Buena Vista, one piece of the roof fell on a classroom. Is that my fault? No. Is that my children's fault? No. No. Whose fault it is? Oh. In the same school, I have a child with a special needs. I ask for help. I ask for resources. I ask for one-on-one -on -one tutoring. Did I got it? No. Instead, they invited me to move to another school. Of Is that right? Yeah. Is that my fault? I'm just tired of this. This triggers a lot of trauma. We just came out of the pandemic. Are you still reminding us 500 years of slavery? Carajo. Thank you very much. And do the right thing because it's your consciousness that's going to tell you. Thank you. Hello to the superintendent, president of the board, all commissioners, staff. My name is Linda Martley Jordan, and I'm the pre current president of the San Francisco Alliance of Black School Educators. And I'm here to share with you our views on what has occurred. You hear the pain in the room. You already hear the pain. So it just breaks down to us that when Commissioner Shu wrote this statement in a survey, it was part of her belief system. Yeah, yeah. It was not a mistake. Right, right. It was what she believes. Yeah. And based on what she believes, you can't just put her in training and expect it to change in a day, a week, or a semester, mm -hmm. or a year to be at that. Mm -hmm. This is something that is systemic, and it's based in uh, institutional racism that actually addresses and provides the steps to inequality. So the San Francisco Alliance of Black School Educators, we are not calling for her admonishment. We believe that that's what you want to do. We are calling for her censors. She has to be censored. This cannot happen again, and it's a mistake again. Just Thank you. Buenas tardes, yo voy a hablar en español. Y yo vengo como mamá latina, padres latinos, este, no significa que porque somos clase trabajadora eh, no estamos aptos para cuidar a nuestros hijos o ayudar a nuestros hijos. Okay. Um, disculpe, señora. Nosotros Necesito nos hacemos entonces, el trabajo. Sí. Disculpe, es el intérprete aquí. Oh. Gracias. Uh, I'm here and I'm, I'm, I'm a Latino mom. And uh, just because I'm, I'm here to let you know that Que somos clase you don't have trabajadora. Right to say, and we're working class families, and that doesn't mean that we don't know how to take care of our children. Gracias. Y, y tengo tres hijos, uno en high school, uno en middle school, y uno en eh, elementary school. Y, I have three kids, one in high school, one in, in middle school, and the other one in uh, elementary school. Y como madre siempre he estado luchando por la ayuda psicológica, por, por el apoyo eh, en la educación emocional, que para mí es muy importante. Nosotros no nos los podemos enfocar en lo académico, lo emocional es crucial. Y siempre he estado aquí pidiendo lo mismo. Y la verdad, tenemos que estar en lista de esperas. Es que si no, no puedo. Disculpe. Y I'm only here to say, to tell you that it's not only the, the, the academic part of what I'm, uh, all my efforts are, it's also the psychological and all the help that they need. Es muy importante y siempre estamos en lista de esperas, como um, eh, los eh, personas eh, browns y latinos siempre estamos pidiendo esa ayuda, pero la verdad no nos hacen caso. Nuestros hijos requieren so, esa ayuda emocional. So Por favor, hagan cambios. No es culpa de los papás. Es un apoyo de todos. Por favor, no nos culpen a nosotros porque nosotros hacemos lo que podemos. Trabajamos y sacamos a nuestros hijos adelante. Con mucho amor. Gracias. 
And so we are the, the brown and Latino people. We are the, the only people that we're always on the waiting list and it's not fair. And we need, uh, you cannot blame this on us. We do our best to raise our children. So please help us. Thank you. Um, buenas tardes. Um, yo soy madre de una hija estudiante en la escuela Glen Park, de educación especial. Eh, bueno, y soy miembro de, de la organización de Colman. Estoy aquí apoyando porque no es justo, ¿verdad? No nos, bueno, no nos gustó ese mal comentario porque yo como madre, yo estoy apoyando a otros padres que están trabajando hasta dos turnos, ¿verdad? Por la renta que es tan cara. Entonces, por eso mismo estamos apoyando y representando a otros padres y no es justo que, que digan, ¿verdad? Que no nos involucramos y estamos para apoyar a nuestros hijos también. Claro, nos importa la educación, pero también tienen que trabajar, tenemos que trabajar. Entonces, pues realmente nos sentimos muy tristes, muy decepcionados, discriminados, porque siempre nuestra raza latina, afroamericana y latina, siempre somos las más marginados, los más discriminados, olvidados y estamos tristes. Um, hello. Así que uh, good necesitamos su apoyo, por favor, gracias. Good evening. Um, I am a mom of a kid uh, from uh, Glen Park. She's also a special needs kid and I'm also part of the Coleman Association. Today I'm here to support um, all the parents because um, we did not like the comments. Um, we, we are also trying to help parents that have uh, two jobs because they need two jobs because they cannot really um, uh, afford things otherwise. So um, we are here to represent other parents. Um, and um, just because we have to work and some of them can be here, it doesn't mean that we do not support our kids. The education of our kids is very important but we also need to work. We are all very saddened. Um, we run folk and the um, African-American folk always are the most discriminated. We are always um, left behind. And we are, as I said, very saddened and we need your help. Thank you. Thank you. President Lamb, that does conclude the 15 minutes. So at this time, we will take 15 minutes for against the admonishment. And Buenas tardes. Eh, en este momento se van a dar 15 minutos para aquellas personas que eh, quieran hacer comentario público y que estén en contra de que la señora Ansu sea amonestada. Gracias. Oh, her? Okay. Come on. Back up, back up. She's gonna let somebody else make one more comment. I don't know. I'm sorry. I wanted to recognize that we had interpretation, so I do want to extend.
So I will extend to three more comments in support of the admonishment because we had three bilingual, we had mon three bi uh, monolingual uh, testimony. So translation, if, if we can have that repeated in Spanish and Chinese, that we are going to have an additional three minutes, three, three speakers, sorry, um, an additional three speakers. Um, because we we had um, two monolingual um, speakers, so so we'll have an additional three speakers for those in support of the admonishment. Again, I recognize that there are more people in line who may want to speak in support of the admonishment, and you can certainly raise your hand, stand up, so that board commissioners can see the final three speakers coming up to speak in support of the admonishment. También queremos, uh, en este momento queríamos uh, ofrecer la oportunidad a tres padres más de que hablen. Uh, debido a que ha habido tres padres monolingües, vamos a dar, uh, dar la palabra a tres personas más para que puedan expresar su opinión a favor de la amonestación de la comisionada Xu. De nuevo, tres personas más para conversar por las tres personas uh, monolingües que han hablado y que han necesitado interpretación. Gracias. No Hello. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, commissioners. Good evening, um, Commissioner Shu. My name is Leslie Hu. I'm the Secretary of United Educators of San Francisco. I was born and raised in San Francisco and went to San Francisco public schools all my life. I've lived in the sunset for most of my life, and my parents still live there as well. After graduate school, I came back to San Francisco Unified and have worked in the district for the last 15 years. And I say that because everything I say comes from my love for this city and my lived experience as a social worker, educator, and member of the Chinese community. Right now, our city is at a crossroads. Centuries of historical oppression and racism have set up the conditions where different groups of folks of color are scrambling to feel safe and connected to one another. Misplaced blame, anger, frustration are being centered rather than the hard and long lasting work of solidarity, healing and justice. And I say this as a member of the Chinese community here in San Francisco, who has been trying to do the hard work of that solidarity and healing. We have a current commissioner who has a pattern of making racist and ableist comments about black and Latinx families and parents and has called students names multiple times in a board meeting. So what do we do now? Where do we go from here? Do we sit in our values and have meaningful restorative justice practices? Practices that normally do not include cancel culture and also do not include waiting for a person in a position of power without a history of serving our Thank students you, to listen and learn on. Thank you. Can you hear me? Okay. Good evening, everyone. Thank you, board. My name is Venecia Margarita. I'm co-president of the San Francisco Latinx Democratic Club. But tonight, I'm here to speak as a mother, as a San Francisco Unified School District, also graduate from elementary, middle, and high school, college. I have three degrees, and guess what? I was told in SFUSD that I wasn't gonna make it, that I was gonna turn out pregnant and wasn't gonna make it, and go ahead, well, guess what? Tonight is my daughter's birthday, and I'm here to tell you, my daughter has three and a half degrees. I worked four jobs, four jobs to make it, and right now, I just drove her a thousand miles, and she's in a freaking doctorate program, so there you have it, Commissioner Nishu. You should be embarrassed, and you should walk out. You should 
give up and say, no, you know what? According to W.E.B. Du Bois, you are racist because you have power over our children. Shame on you. You should be embarrassed. Get off of that seat and every other seat that you're sitting on. You should be embarrassed and censored completely from any board that you're sitting on. Thank you. Good evening, commissioners. I'm Reverend Dr. Carolyn. I'm Reverend Dr. Carolyn, and I hear um, all of this, and my heart is breaking and has been broken by the division that is unnecessary. I stand with the board for admonishing. I stand with the board, even asking that there would be a resignation. I'm standing saying to help anyone in this position, because when we don't know and we're not ready, then we're in a position that we should not be in. And the helpful thing is to get the training, to get the experience, and to learn how and not exercise something you don't know and, and don't understand, historically, even the cultures then that's a problem. We need to help one another, put each other in a learning environment, get the education, then step back towards doing a work to build a community. This will be- um, uh, Good evening. Uh, our last public speaker. Good evening, uh, my name is Bernard Morton. Uh, I'm a retired SFUSD educator as of last year. Uh, I'm here to uh, ask that this board censures uh, Commissioner Shu, <clears throat> and I also want to say that the racist uh, believes that Commissioner Shu expressed in the survey are an affront to all the educators of SFUSD who have worked very hard to deliver equity to all the students. And I also want to say that her racist beliefs that she expressed in that questionnaire is counter to SFUSD's mission to deliver equity to all students. I'm here to say that the school, new school year will begin shortly, and we need for Commissioner Shu to resign before the school year begins so that the San Francisco school community can begin a healing process. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That does conclude public comment for those in support of admonishment. We got two more. We got two more. I'm the president of SEIU and I like to speak. Order. 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 I've already stated earlier that we were gonna do 15 minutes. Because I gave UESF outside of that one minute, excuse me, that is your last warning. It was clear about our process and procedure tonight. I stated that we are giving UESF as part of the additional because that is part of our practice. I invite our union partner with SEIU to give a one minute. I acknowledge, I acknowledge there are additional parents who are also in support of the admonishment who may not get to speak. But I know that tonight's Remarks have been shared. And we will shift into the final 15 minutes of public comment who are in opposition of the admonishment for tonight. So with that, go ahead, please. Is not on? Oh, I'm sorry. My name is Rafael Picasso, SEIU School District Chapter President. Not just the president, but 
community member of the Mission District, proud community, born and raised there, insulted, insulted. I cried, not just for myself, but for my community and my black and brown brothers and other races who who been trying to join and work together with a common goal, equality. I don't care where you come from, what life you live, it's about education, educating all our children equally. I was hurt, not just as a community member, but as an employee. I represent over a thousand employees in this school district. And they're various races, various nationalities, various genders. And I treat each one with equality. Because they deserve to be treated with equality. This is America. Freedom of religion. Freedom of choice, freedom, and equality. I don't want you censored. I want you to resign. Yes. Don't even run in November. Because the labor movement in our communities will vote against you, and you won't win. Step down. Thank you. That concludes, that concludes public comment for those in favor of the admonishment. We will now head into our remaining 15 minutes or against. We often in our board meetings also offer for our students to speak. So I will extend this for our student to speak. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, introduce yourself. My name is Levi and. What did you want to say? I love to learn. I love my ABCs. I love math. Sue should quit her job. Order. Order. Say your first name only. Uh, my name is Angelica. I love. My name is Angelica. I love to learn, and my favorite things to learn are art, English, and math. These are my favorite subjects. These are my favorite subjects because it, it's fun. Please um, censure Miss Sue. Or and I'm speaking in in opposition. No, I'm not extending. I don't want extending. I don't want extending. I'm speaking on the other fifteen. So. We are now shifting remaining 15. So we are now moving into not in support of the action tonight of admonishment. One minute, please. Thank you, President Lamb. Good evening, everyone. My name is Latoya Pitcher, and I am speaking in opposition of the admonishment tonight because I do, in fact, believe she should be censured. As a granddaughter, excuse me, excuse me, as a granddaughter of civil rights leader Alex L. Pitcher Jr., someone who fought in the Brown versus Board of Education of 1954. <laughs> In 1954, Topeka, Kansas, everybody in this room, unless you are of European descent, you sit here because of the chances he took, because of the risk he took in the NAACP and everyone else. And not only did he fight that fight, 10 years later, he got up and fought again in the Civil Rights Act of 1964, which is why a lot of people have the jobs that they have today. And then he could have sat his hat down after the civil rights act of 1964, but he saw the way the Chinese brothers and sisters were being treated and he tied his boots back up again and he went back out there and fought. So for you, Commissioner Sue, to tell my child that his family don't care about his education is disrespectful, ignorant, and you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Please resign, if not, please censor her. Thank you. 
We're going to ask everybody to please be quiet while we continue with public comment. We are tracking the time and we will make sure everything is equal as we set out to. Uh, so definitely we're going to ask people to be quiet and please only have comments from the people who are at the podium who are directed to speak. Thank you. I'm Karen Fleshman. I'm a candidate for San Francisco Board of Education, and I'm the one who noticed Ann Shue's comments and originally tweeted them to the mayor. And I'm here today to ask every San Franciscan to reflect how many of us hold that same belief. That is the belief system that is leading to a two-tiered educational system that is failing our students. It is not the job of parents. It is not the jobs of students to fix that system. It is the job of the adults who are in charge of that system to fix it. And it is also the job of the adults to come together, to heal our relationship with each other, to stop being so divisive and pitting communities against each other, and to realize if we are at war with each other, we are all going to be harmed by that. And the people who are most harmed are our students who are already in the worst mental health crisis in our country's history. So let's adults start coming together, healing, and stop causing so much harm. My name is Rex Ridgeway, and it's interesting I come behind Karen Fleshman, and I uh, give her props for acknowledging that she was the one who actually sparked this situation. So now it's out in the open. My wife is Mexican, and when I left the house, she asked me, what, a, what am I going to say? <laughs> All I can say is this. I'll give you, uh, Ann, you shouldn't resign, but I'm going to move this to something that you should understand. We have brilliant black kids. I was walking down San Bruno Avenue and the kids said, hey, Mr. Rex, ask me a question. Because I used to be at MLK Middle School and he said, and I used to ask him questions and, he, and I said, I'm going to ask, so I'll give you $20. I said, no, I don't have 20, I'll give you 10. Name me four of the five romance languages. And this little black kid said, Spanish, Portuguese, French, and Italian. And then it broke my heart because he's going to go to a school that's not preparing him for low. So I am asking the Board of Education, and most of you guys know me, okay? I have friends, Asian, Latino, and of course, African American, and I'm just asking, let's shift the blame. Where is the excuse when only 8% of Bret Hart kids can read at grade level? Thank you. Uh, good evening, my name is Toby. Commissioner Shu has submitted to, to her mistakes and has met with several community groups. We are confident that she would emerge from this and become a better school, school board member for all students. We support Anne. Thank you. My name is Shirley. For Commissioner and she, we cannot have a repeat of last year's problems. There's an opportunity for teaching and learning here. There will always be a tension between the American culture and other cultures. We must stop shutting out the voice of these immigrant co communities and stop denying that they live here, work here, and work here. We support and. Hi, my name is Kit Lam. I hope everyone plays by the rule, but there's no rule in politics. So for the past two years, um, San Francisco School Board and the school district has been on the national news. And uh, it's not in a good way due to focusing on adult politics. I have served um, Latino and African American families when I was working in the school district. I, I can tell you that families do care about uh, children's education. However, Ansu is not a politician, and she has made a mistake for making wrong and hurtful statements. She has apologized and agreed to learn. Ansu and we have seen the data of absentees and literacy released by the district. Please stop the politics and focus on kids' education. And to all San Franciscans, please stop the toxic cancel culture. Thank you. Yeah. 
Hi. Hi, my name is Lisa, and I'm here to support Anne. I'm also a uh, SFUSD parent as well as an alum. I grew up in San Francisco, and I'm also here because I want to represent at least 50 people that I know who also support Anne but cannot be here today. We can see that Anne is being targeted. However, we're not blind to what's going on. We know that Anne is brave to approach the subject that many find uncomfortable to talk about. Right. Effects can ch effects, effective change happens when we can talk about topics and data that's uncomfortable. Life is complicated. SFUSD is complicated. We must be able to have an open dialogue if we truly want to improve. The majority of San Francisco supports you, Anne. We see the hypocrisy. We see the hypocrisy of the people in the news. Don't ever give up, because we won't give up on you. My name is Diane. We are all here because we care about education. Some want to censure Commissioner Shu, but what will that accomplish? It won't close the achievement gap. It won't reduce chronic absenteeism. Once you fired the messenger, does the message stop being true? Here we are again, wasting district time on performative anti-racism. I support Commissioner Shu. Don't censure her. She is not the problem. Chronically absent students are less likely to read at grade level, less likely to graduate, more likely to end up in prison. That's the problem. That's the problem. Be offended by We're that. Going to, Wait, I'm going to call time. this into. Pause my time. We're going. I'm calling for a recess. We will return in 10 minutes. No, you should finish. No, no, no.